This is the solution to written homework 60. So we have a description of a polynomial, its properties. So from the, from the fundamental theorem of algebra, From the fundamental theorem of algebra, we know that f of x, because it is a cubic, can be written as can be written as some leading coefficient a times x minus c1 multiplied by x minus c2 multiplied by x minus c3. Because every polynomial of degree 3 can be factored into a product of three uh, such factors. So the fact that it, that it has real coefficients, the fact that it has real coefficients, and the fact that it has this one complex root, taking those two facts together, that's saying that the complex conjugate of this root must also be a root. So that means that 1 minus i is another 0. So the way the problem is stated, it, it looks like you are given just, just two zeros, 2 and 1 plus i, but you're actually given 3. You are given 2, 1 plus i, and 1 minus i. So now we just need to route these into their places. So that one can go right there. This one can go right here. And the last one right there. <clears throat> so then multiplying this out, we get a and then x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 1 plus i multiplied by x minus 1 minus i. Okay, so now we still don't know what a is. We're going to use this, pe this last piece of information that f of 3 is 35 uh, to get that, but before before we do that, I'm going to multiply these two together, because when you multiply these two together, the the imaginary parts will cancel, and it'll be something that's purely real. So, a multiplied by x minus two, and then <clears throat> multiplying these two together, that'd be x squared, and then we would get uh, so. Uh, distributing this, that'd be x, so that'd be this one to that one would be minus x, and then plus xi, and then minus x, and then minus xi, xi. and then multiplying these two together. So the negatives would cancel and we'd get one plus i times one minus i. So that'd be uh, plus one plus i minus i and then minus i squared. So that's multiplying all that out. So now let's simplify this. a times x minus two. Then we have x squared we have uh, xi minus xi, so those cancel. And we have minus x minus x, so minus 2x. And then we have uh, plus 1 and then plus another one, so plus 2. OK. 
Okay, so we've almost completely determined uh, f of x, and the last thing that we need to do is we need to use this piece of information to figure out the value of a. So what we know is that when we plug in 3, we're supposed to get 35. Okay, so uh, 35 is f of 3, but that should be a multiplied by, well, uh, that'd be 3 minus 2, which is going to be 1, and then that'd be uh, 9 minus 6 plus 2. <coughs> so that would be 35 is equal to a multiplied by 1 multiplied by, uh, well, 9 plus 2 is 11 minus 6 is 5, so times 5. So we could divide both sides by 5 to determine that a is 7. Therefore, <clears throat> we know that f of x is 7 multiplied by x minus 2 multiplied by x squared plus 2x plus 2. Uh, x squared minus 2x plus 2. Okay. <clears throat> so let g be the least degree polynomial with real coefficients such that i is a 0 and g of 0 is 1, okay? Because, again, just like the previous exercise, because this polynomial has real coefficients, and because i is a 0, that means the complex conjugate of i is also 0. Now, i could be written as, this could be written as 0 plus i, 0 real part plus 1 imaginary part, which means that uh, the complex conjugate of 0 plus i is negative i. So negative i is also a 0. Okay. So <clears throat> that means we have two zeros. We have i and negative i are zeros. That means that this polynomial has at least two zeros. And we want to use the least degree, which means that the least possible degree, so, so two zeros, x is i and x is negative i, and therefore the least degree is 2. So by the fundamental theorem of algebra, we know that g of x can be expressed as some a multiplied by x minus c1 multiplied by x minus c2, where c1 and c2 are the zeros. So we can route these into their places. So g is a multiplied by x minus i multiplied by x plus i. So multiplying that out and collecting like terms, that would be uh, x squared plus xi minus xi minus i squared uh, minus, this should be minus xi. So the xi's cancel and then minus i squared is plus 1. So this would be a multiplied by x squared plus 1. So now to determine a, we need to use this 
piece of information here that when we plug in 0, we're supposed to get 1. So 1 is what you get when you plug in 0. So then we should get A multiplied by 1. And therefore, that tells us <coughs> that A is 1. And therefore, the polynomial is x squared plus 1. And now to plot it, if you plug in 0, you get 1. If you plug in 1, you get 2. If you plug in negative 1, you get 2. If you plug in 2, you get 5. If you plug in negative 2, you get 5. So the function looks like this. And that's the answer.